see who's out there. <gasps> Hello kids! This is teacher Tanya and today it is the books day and I'm going to tell you a very wonderful story about windows. Yeah. It's been written by Carmen Gerard and it's a fun fun story. So look out of the window and let the magic begin. Windows by Carmen Gerald. Wow! Can you see all these windows? There are plenty of them. Look! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18 windows. Oh my God, there are plenty of them. Wow, and there are animals in there. And wow, all oh guys, they are very strange. Let's see what's happening. One day, a journey begins. And along the way, it might take us far, far, far away. And we will see many, many, many windows, like this ones. And we might find amazing places to look out of our windows. Through the house's windows, we might see many people. A lot, a lot of people. One, two, three, four, five, plenty, plenty of people. And some guys might be very odd. See? Oh, they're very odd. But they're at home. Yeah, they're at home. Ah! Oh my god! Where are all these people going? In a car? In a bus? Although we might see them through the little windows, we have no idea where they are going. They have to stay at home. Now, look out of your window. Go to your kitchen and see what's happening. Today, everybody's been very busy. Mmm, can you smell that? Oh yeah, they've been cooking pies, mm. cakes, mm. and oh my god, muffins! I love muffins. Mm. Yummy! Beyond the windows that face the sky, the birds fly away. They go on a tree, but where do they go? It is very cold. That's why I'm wearing my red hat. Can you see it? They're wearing a suitcase. And in the suitcase, they're wearing sweaters, um, pullovers, and coats, and scarves, and hats. Because now it is very cold and they cannot stay here. Look out of your window and see they fly away. Bye bye birds. Bye.
iron bottle or a crocodile. Wow! I don't know. Let's see who's in there. Oh my god! What is this animal here? It's very weird. It has bare ears, mouse face, elephant trunk, and a very big body on a very big flat tail. Oh my god, I've seen this one yet. Ooh, I'm a snail. Can you see my antlers? Yeah, snails always drop their holes. And sometimes, if we are very quiet, we might take a look inside and see what's in there. A bed, a kitchen, a wardrobe, a family. Thank you. 